Hello and welcome to the Academy of Online Mastery. My name is Steve Woody. To ensure you're watching this video in the best quality, please click the resolution button and select HD. For more videos, please check our website www.onlinemastery.co.uk. In this video, we're going to introduce the features.php and we're going to insert the JavaScript dynamically to call both the Twitter Bootstrap and the core WordPress files. We're going to do this by using a hook. And within the hook, we have a function called wp-head. This is a function that is an important hook because it allows for plugin developers to dynamically add CSS or JavaScript to your website. If we do not include this in a template, then some plugins may not work. The things to remember about a hook is that it provides no parameters. You use the hook by having your function echo output to the browser or by having it perform background tasks. Your functions shouldn't return and they shouldn't take any parameters. This hook is theme dependent, which means it is up to the author of each WordPress theme to include it. It may not be available on all themes, so you should take this into account when you use it. The hook is an action, which means it primarily acts as an event trigger instead of a content filter. And it's potentially the most important feature available within WordPress. We're going to start in the header.php. To insert a hook, we first need to call the PHP. And we're going to call the WordPress head. Whilst we're here, we're also going to add another line of code to enqueue the jQuery. We'll save this information. And now we need to head over to the footer. We can remove all of the JavaScript. We're going to call another PHP. Into the footer. Whilst we're here, we can change the company information. Save the footer page and go back to our FTP. Here we need to enter a new file called functions.php. Within the functions.php, we need to call the following function. The boot press scripts with jQuery will load the function and we'll add an action to enqueue the scripts for the bootpress script with jQuery. We can now save this page, and to test this works, we'll load up our WordPress theme. We can now see that it's called the head of WordPress, and to ensure that jQuery is working, if we make the theme responsive, minimize it to we have the mobile menu, and if we call the dropdown, we should now see an animated menu. This tells us that the functions are working. Whilst we're on this screen, we're just going to go back into our dashboard. And if you look under the appearance section, you'll see that there is themes and editor. There's no access for the menu and no access for the widgets. We're gonna call this now within our functions PHP. The first thing we're going to do is call the navigation. To do that, we simply enter the following lines of function to register my menu. This will create a header menu. You can call this what you like. We've called it header menu. And by saving out the functions.php, we can refresh our dashboard. And in appearance, we now have the menus option. By clicking through here, you can see in the theme locations, we have header menu as described here. We can now go ahead and set a main menu as our header menu. We can now save this. One last thing we're going to do whilst we're here is we're going to add a function for the sidebar. We'll save our functions.php. We'll refresh our dashboard 
and we can also now see we have in appearance widgets. We now have a sidebar option. We'll come to this in a later video, but for now, WordPress is starting to come together with all the functions that you would expect from a 2012 theme.